Hey everybody and welcome to this edition of Between the Weekends as we continue our alternating series between getting to know your church and getting to know God's Church. Last week we had an interview in relation to God's Church and now it's time to take another look at your church. A few weeks ago we were on the other side of the church looking in the room called the vestry. Today we're going to look in the room called the sacristy. So you can notice that it will be behind us to the door uh, behind me and into another room. Now instead of stopping at each point along the way this time around, I'm going to take a pause and simply walk the camera directly into the next room. Let's take our little tour as we walk past praise team equipment. Similar to the other side, if we were to go down the stairway, we would find a door that goes to the outside. But, and there's no door to the basement on this side, but if we swing to our right, instead of ste steps on this side, we have a ramp. And suddenly we find ourselves into the sacristy. Let's take a peek around. And then we'll chat about it going all the way around the corner to the sink and the special passage to the outside. Let's take a pause. So here we are in the sacristy. Now, the words that are used to describe certain rooms in the church actually have their rootage in the pur purpose of the room to begin with. So when we were on the other side of the church and looked at the vestry, we are reminded that what is found in that room are the vestments, the uh, robes and other paramount, uh, paramental materials that the uh, ministers and assisting ministers might use. This is called the sacristy, and that too is related to what is found in this room, namely the sacrament. This is the place where the sacraments are prepared to be used on the altar during our services of worship. Specifically, this is where we keep the communion wine. This is where the bread is put together and put on the pallet to be placed out on the altar. This is the place where we find baptismal napkins and baptismal candles and the like. This is the place where we uh, clean up after communion, putting away the trays, throwing away the uh, individual communion cups and the like. In older days, before the days of com disposable communion cups, it would have been the place where the uh, glass communion cups would have been washed. So the sacristy is kind of a place where those things that are considered holy in the church, the sacraments, are prepared for the people to use. Of course, it is sometimes a place where pyramids are prepared as well. You may have seen that there was an ironing board here, and so we have, uh, if I can lift it up, uh, some of the uh, things that are used for communion. need to make sure I put that back nice and neatly because those on the Alder Guild have worked hard to get these things correct and nicely pressed. And by the way, speaking of the Altar Guild, this is the place where the Altar Guild spends a fair amount of their time. And you know, one of the things I've noticed over the years, and this has been true with all of the churches that I've been privileged to serve, the folks that work on the Altar Guild tend to be just very dedicated and humble servants. It's almost as if handling these holy utensils and these holy elements over the years have rubbed off on them in one way or another. They tend to be folks that work behind the scenes but are very attentive to the details that can sometimes mean a lot in terms of our worship time together. There are folks who have served on the Elder Guild in this congregation and others for years and years and years. There are folks who stay after the service to make sure everything is cleaned up and put away. There are folks that come in during the week to make sure that everything is ready. And especially in a congregation like ours, where we serve communion every week, and indeed we serve it at all three services, including one on Saturday night. It takes a very dedicated group of very special people to make sure that we always have the Lord's Supper to celebrate when we gather for our time of worship. So I'd like to offer a, uh, a piece of a tremendous thanks to those who uh, work on the Alder Guild. Uh, they work behind the scenes. We oftentimes uh, don't see the inner workings of what they do, but we do see uh, the outer workings of what they do when we come to worship and see the paraments or see the communion are prepared. And in fact, it's during those times when for whatever reason that doesn't happen to be the case. If for some reason, uh, in some rare instance, communion is not uh, 
adequately provided or if uh, the pyramids have not been changed or whatnot. Uh, those are the times, I guess, that we notice uh, when they're not working. It's sort of like the engine on our car. When everything is working fine, we don't think anything of it. But the moment it has a little bit of a hiccup, that's when we begin to realize how de de or how dependent uh, we have become on someone who knows something about how to fix a car. Well, we are uh, both thankful and dependent on our dedicated servants in the Elder Guild for the fine work they do, oftentimes in a room just like this. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Between the Weekends. I look forward to joining you next week for another segment of Getting to Know God's Church in an interview with one of God's dedicated servants. Have a great day and a great week.